The preparation and properties of colloidal silver. Attention, silver nitrate is a hazardous compound. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the replication of this experiment. For the experiment, a beaker with a stirring bar and a watch glass are placed on a hot plate stirrer. Then 170 milliliters of distilled water are added and heated to a boil. When the water is boiling, 2 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution or silver nitrate is added first, followed by 4 milliliters of a 1% solution of sodium citrate. Then the solution is stirred for half an hour while keeping it above 90 degrees C. Within the first minutes the solution became yellow and after that brown and opaque. The silver ions are reduced by the citrate forming acetone dicarboxylate and elemental silver. The stirring assures that the concentration is even throughout the solution. This leads to the formation of particles to which more silver is added, causing them to grow and become round. The size of the particles depends on the concentrations, the temperature and the time of heating. After 33 minutes the hot plate was turned off and it was left stirring until the temperature was at around 30 degrees C. Then it was left to sit without stirring until it had reached room temperature. This is a solution of colloidal silver. The particles should be around 40 nanometers in size which is smaller than the wavelength of visible light spectrum and even UV. With a bright light it can already be seen that the light is influenced by the solution but the concentration is a bit too high. That's why a part of it was diluted with distilled water. Due to the particles being smaller than the wavelength of light, Rayleigh scattering can be observed. This causes light with shorter wavelength like blue and ultraviolet to be scattered the strongest. So the light in the solution is blue right after the entrance and later on only yellow and red are left over. When the solution is diluted further, it appears only blue in white light. Due to Rayleigh scattering, the sky appears blue in daylight because it passes only a short distance in the atmosphere. When the sun approaches the horizon, the light passes a longer distance in the atmosphere and more blue light is scattered before it hits the ground. That's why the sky slowly turns red on sunset as it does here with increasing thickness of the layer of the solution. When the concentrated solution is observed under UV light, it barely penetrates the surface. Even when a stronger light is used or a laser, the light is still scattered almost completely right below the surface of the solution. The light from a green laser is still scattered quite strongly but already penetrates deeper into the solution. The light from a red laser is even partially able to pass the solution at some points. In the infrared range the light can pass almost unaffected and it looks as if this is a generic aqueous clear solution. Interestingly the solution is opaque when the light is shining on the front of the beaker. This were the preparation and properties of colloidal silver. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to see the preparation of another interesting colloid, you can watch my video here or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.